So it's election day, and uh, we always like talking to people that uh, show an interest in uh, the election when they're not running, and that's certainly uh, Mr. Malcolmson here. Hi. So, uh, what do you think of, uh, I guess, the last six weeks or so, and then uh, here we are on the day, are there any thoughts um, abroad, provincially, locally, who's cooking? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, not as much uh, policy debate as I would have expected. There's, There's been a little bit about uh, collaborating with community groups. Yep. We've heard about uh, fiscal responsibility. We've heard about uh, hours at the pool. We've heard about crime. But yeah. um, I don't know if we've, we've drilled into those issues as you would have expected in an election period or not. But I, I don't know. As I, as I look at it, like it, it seems that uh, most of the people I talk to are uh, leaning a little bit more towards uh, Darcy Dover. If I had to bet, that's who I'd put my money on. But yeah. And of course, we're saying we're not uh, picking our picks. We're picking who we think the voters are um, selecting. You know, if yeah. we didn't want to lose money in a bet, this is... Not not an endorsement you yeah. know, whatsoever. We, you know, The gallery supports and works with whoever gets elected. But yeah, the, if, if I had to put money down, I'd, I'd bet that it was uh, that it was Darcy. Certainly, uh, that's the feeling I'm getting today as yeah. I've been making the adventures around town. You bet. And, uh, and then into the village as well. Yeah. Um, and do you see any... Uh, Front runners, uh, as far as uh, on the council side of things, I think um, beyond a traditional one and two being a little bit ahead of everybody else, yeah, I could see numbers three, positions three through eight being within fifty votes. Of each other. I think they could be really close. Yeah. yeah, there's there's a couple of candidates that I think will fare pretty well. Um, I think uh, I think Greg will do okay. I think the incumbents uh, always have a bit of a bump. Um, yep. You know where you'll have maybe Charlie, Jeremy, and Amy uh, standing up uh, fairly well. Certainly. And you know it's it's kind of tough on some of the newcomers, right? Because it's it's always hard to get your your voice out there. It's tough to kind of put yourself out there. But Kyle McDonald, I think, has uh, has put a lot of um, has caused I think a lot of positive buzz. Um, mm -hmm. He's a real uh, you know go Dawson Creek kind of guy, Certainly. so yeah, that's a lot of fun. And then um, we've we've also got uh, Aaron Rodgers making some positive buzz too. For sure. And yeah, you know, I it'll be it'll be interesting to see how it all shapes up, but. Yeah, if I had to put my money down, it might be on those uh, those five. But for the sixth, I, I can't. Yes, I, I just can't figure who it uh, who it'll be. But you know, props props to all of them for putting their name up, and yep. they they've all done commendable things in the community so far, and they they all just deserve a big pat on the back for running a respectful campaign. Well, the other thing we it's uh, doesn't we should uh, not go without bringing up is potentially there should there could be all kinds of new faces sitting around that PRD yes. table. That's true. With the exception of um, Mr. Hebert and um, Mr. Rose, uh, there could be a whole slew of new faces depending on how elections go and then with people retiring and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So it could be a new look there I, I, as well. I think it will be, yeah. I, I'm, I haven't been following that one as closely as I'd like. Um, but yeah, I think there'll be some definitely some new faces. Gooding's retiring. I'm not sure who's... Uh, um, who will be taking that that mantle and carrying it forward? Um, and yeah, in terms of the in terms of the municipal composition or the municipal appointees to the RD board, that'll be interesting too. You know, we might have uh, we might have a mayor you know returned in Poos. It's yep. tough to tough to say, but if that's the case, then there might be a reconsistency there. Um, yep. And then uh, for Dawson Creek, there'll be a new appointee. Certainly, and, uh, and there will be in Fort St. John. That's too. right, too, and, yeah, uh, yeah. And then potentially in Shetland, too, depending on how that one goes as well. So yeah. it could be a, a new look for staff yeah. uh, over yeah. at the PRD, and then obviously for ratepayers, too. Yeah. And then obviously it boosts uh, all kinds of attention out there for all kinds of different reasons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any predictions on how that's going to go? Again, just based on, you know, 400-odd voters. and. Uh, it's tough because I, I don't know if I'm as well-connected or, you know, as a, if I talk enough to, to folks in Poos. Fingers know, on the pulse. Well, and I know yeah. a lot. Of, I know a lot of citizens or residents over there, you know, there, there's been a lot of door-to-door -door knocking and a yes. lot of like yes, uh, one-on-one -on -one kind of conversation. So it's kind of tough to, you know, figure where the, the dice will land when there's been so much one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Like here in Dawson, you can see some candidates that get out there, they, they knock on doors, they deliver the flyers, they really pound the pavement. And you can kind of see from, you know, different candidates' ground game, you know, how likely it is that, you know, that that'll transpire or have a positive spin-off in the polls. But there's been such a tremendous effort. Like things are so, you know, passionate. So um, yeah, that's a word. Yeah. Heightened, you know, over <laughs> yep. in Poos that, yep. that it's uh, that I think a lot of people are really getting out and putting their putting their back into it. So well, and I, you know, I think that maybe the, that traditional 28, 29, 30 percent voter turnout. Yeah. You know, generally around the province, I think there might be more here yeah. in Dawson just because of that mayoral race. Yeah. I have a feeling you're going to see a, a much more robust so. turnout as far as percentage-wise in, in, in 
who Scooby. Well, and I think I think there's almost an inverted uh, participation uh, percentage in smaller communities. There, sure. There's some smaller yeah. communities in BC where they have near 100 percent, just because everybody knows everybody and people get right out to, to vote for their friends and stuff like that. So, so hopefully they'll get that. Well, and it's less than uh, about three four hours away. So if you haven't voted, vote for your friends. Go for it. And uh, thanks very much. Thank you, Rob. All right. I'm excited. There we go. Yep. And uh, stay safe. I am. I am.